Woo! Welcome. <laughs> oh my god. Welcome back to Low Key and Gaming, guys. This is a limited time only free demo for the next four days, actually. <laughs> okay, let's go. Welcome to the Ocean View Living Domicile for the Elderly. Before we can get you all moved in, please fill out the following forms. Looking forward to meeting you. Uh, uh, Esther Katz, President and Founder. Okay, we we'll go to the next. What do you look like? I like her. I like her. What is your name? Lori or Lazelle? Lazelle? Lori. Let's go, Lori. How would you like to be addressed? MX, let's be sassy. I recently celebrated my 80th birthday to vote Virgo and had a bad fall. Such a classic senior moment. I'm fine now, but my doctor insists that it's not safe for me to live alone in the country and recommended I move into a retirement community, so here I am. Okay, we can have kitty cat, a doji, or a robot. Let's go with kitty cat. Canyon is sassy. I really would never name an animal sassy, but okay. Can I put in something else? Oh, I can! Um, let's name him Loki. Got a cat named Loki. What's your story? There we go! My wife Sophia died five years ago, just shy of our 50th anniversary. She was gutsy, independent, gorgeous, and still riding her motorcycle until the end. Oh, hell city, yeah. Yes, that is correct. So this is it, Loki, our new home. Meow! Not the whole building, just one tiny apartment inside the building. And there's no 40 acre field for you to play in. Sorry, buddy. Meow. I know, I miss our big house too, but you know what the doctor said. It's not good for your physical or mental health to live alone in the middle of nowhere at your age. Blah blah freaking blah. What a load of hogwash. Yes. Hello there. You must be Lori. I'm Esther Katz, but you can call me Esty if you want to. I know some people can be more formal when they first arrive. She seems nice and friendly, love and organized women. I can't stand people who use clipboards. <laughs> ah! Oh my god! Oh, let's. You want to be sassy, mean old lady? Let's do that. Hello, Mrs. Katz. I'm the president and founder of Ye Old Welcome Wagon. Aren't I clever? Did you see what I did there? So, welcome to Ocean View Living Domicile for the Elderly! Why ye old? Yeah, I'm an English major. That Y is a misrepresentation of a TH. It should be the old. Ignoramus, old people. I'm glad you asked. I live here seven years. Can you believe it? You look like it. It's longer than I expected. Us too. Bada boom. Roof shot. O L D E. Oh, it's short for Ocean View Living Domicile for the Elderly. How clever. I want to die already. Ha, ye old, that's funny. That's a terrible acronym. You suck. Could be worse, like the Herschel A.V. Dickstein. 
smelled her sweets? Hades. Hades, well, that's grim. No, it's not. He's lovely. My Max is there. He likes it fine. It's very Jewish. Who's Max? No listening to your question. I like ye old. I don't need a bunch of kibitzers talking about my ex like we're in high school. Besides, I need to meet people from all over. That's why I started the welcome line wagon. Ah, so this is the nib shit. Max is your ex-husband? 47 years until he traded me for a younger model. You know how that worked out. I do. I don't want to. I said, Maxie, I love you. I'll always love you. But you've had your time. I'm going to ye old, and you can go to Hades. And we'll see each other when God is ready for us to be together. I don't know what the hell happened to her voice. <laughs> Until then, well, I'm going to have my fun, if you know what I mean. Um. Oh, I know what you mean. Wink. Yes, lots of fun to be had at ye old. Now it's just country western. This is great. Bustles out of a taxi cab carrying a suitcase. Hi, I'm Crystal. Sorry I'm late. what I miss? Why is she so cheery? Why, oh, her smile could light up a stadium. Tardy people are the worst. Your smile could light up a stadium. Let's bullshit you. <laughs> you hear hilarious laughter back here. You haven't missed a thing. We're just getting acquainted. Now she's Miss Holly Quinn. I'm Mr. Katz, president and founder of Ye Old Welcome Wagon. A welcome wagon, what a great idea. So both, the both, Holly Quinn, I'm doing a really bad job here. <laughs> it really is. So you are Miss Crystal Mayer. Damn it, too many people do the voices for. And this is... M.X. Lori LaSalle. What is an M.X.? I don't use male or female pronouns or titles. MX is what people who are non-binary can use instead if they want. Oh, okay. Looks like we should update the new resident forms. I'll bring that up at the board meeting next week. Damn it, why does everybody sound like Harley Quinn in this game? I hope you don't mind that our form didn't include it in the first place. But it did I checked the box well that means somebody updated our intake forms and never told me this this is a problem as president and founder of the welcome wagon I should certainly be informed of any changes to the process wouldn't you agree probably I'm just happy to see an intake form with a place for me whoever did it I think it's swell. <laughs> These choices, damn. Well, I'm glad then. I still wish I had been informed, but a mitzvah is a mitzvah. Hi, Lori. It's great to meet you. Great might be overstating it. Maybe, but I'm an optimist and I have a good feeling about you. I think we'll become fast friends. Leans down to look at Loki. <laughs> I forgot we named the cat Loki. I can register back here. And who's this cutie? <laughs> I'm getting more register. He Loki's licking his paw. That's my roommate, Loki. Aww. <laughs> I'm kidding it. Okay, so now that you're all here, let's get you settled in your new home. All aboard the welcome wagon! Train drove terrible. <laughs> I'm a real bitch in this game. Ah, sure, follow me. Ye all retirement community welcomes anyone over 65, regardless of race, religion, gender, or sexuality. 
We actually don't exist in the real world, but what you going to do? Is my grandchildren like to say, we are practicing inclusivity. That's great. Inclusivity is why I picked ye old. I want to be afraid to be myself. No judgment or jerks allowed. Yeah, well, I used to have 40 acres of property that kept my home nice and jerk-proof. And a gun. <laughs> it's good to see you two see eye to eye, because... What the hell? No, she's Southern. You're next door neighbors. <laughs> wow, those doors are really close together. Hey, neighbor. Lowe sucks. Lowe, the movers already put all your belongings in your new apartment, but Crystal, no movie fan has arrived for you yet. That's because there's not one coming. I downsized. I vey to one suitcase. Oh, <laughs> So you're a minimalist. I'm oppressed. Let's bullshit her. We've been kind of mean. I'm not really a minimalist. At least I never used to be. But I wanted a fresh start. So I sold all my things and voila. Here I am. I envy you. I didn't get rid of anything. And to be honest. I'm scared of what I'm going to find when I open my door. If you need help unpacking, let me know. Wait, Crystal, you sold everything? What about your keepsakes? I have a few things in storage. I gave some heirlooms to my daughter, but otherwise, all gone. Is this something else going on? Do you need me to show you where a counselor's office is? When Jess went through his second divorce, I found Nelson very helpful. No, everything is fantastic. You, you, you're nosy. Go away. Oh, look at the time. I'd love to stay and chat, but I need to measure my new apartment and get that IKEA order in. Well, I certainly found that a bit strange and now from the south. Don't you agree? <laughs> I so suck at these voices. Do I? Is arriving with one suitcase strange? Yeah, she's definitely hiding something. The last time someone arrived at Ye Old with just one suitcase, he turned out to be an unsavory criminal. Well, really, what happened? He started the poker club. Oh, I'm going to like his place. His name's Blair. I'd steer Claire of him if I were you. Thanks for the heads up. I love playing poker. I do. I love this game. Well, don't say I didn't warn you. Still. I think you should keep an eye on Crystal. To make sure she's alright. I'm not going to spy. Okay. I'll keep an eye on Crystal. I'll just tell you what you want to hear. And I won't do it anyhow. I'm good at that. That would be very neighborly of you, Lori. And if you need anything... I'm just down the hall in apartment 101. Also, there's a big red button in your apartment. Hit it in case of a medical emergency. By the way, how is your vertigo? I have it actually. None of your business. It doesn't do you any good to keep your ailments to yourself. I'll just have to tell Crystal to keep an ear open for the sound of your body hitting the floor. Welcome to ye old. I can't figure out if she's a bitch or just nosy. Okay. <laughs> Back here. Ye old. Which is either a friendly community where everyone looks out for each other. Or a bunch of busybodies sticking their noses in everyone's business. But at least now I have people to check in and make sure I'm not dead. The doc will be so thrilled. Well, Loki, ready to see our apartment? Yeah. That's the spirit. 
So, Loki, if you're wondering if a house full of stuff would fit into a one-bedroom apartment, the answer is no. I can't see the floor for the boxes. Eh. Right. You think boxes are fun. At least one of us likes our new dicks. <sighs> the entire apartment is the size of my old bedroom. Hello? Teeny apartment with walls as thin as paper. That's it, though the upside is if I take another fall, Crystal will hear it. I, I can't talk to you. No, I will not do that. Just leave me alone. You'll make it worse. I have to go. No, don't come here. Troubling phone call. This is probably the kind of thing Esther wants me to tell her about. Maybe Esther's right about Crystal. I shouldn't jump to conclusions like Esther. Esther, mind her own damn business. Knock at the door makes you jump. A visitor already? I hope they're bringing welcome food. Loki is so helpful. And Billy rubs for you, you old softy. I got, yeah. You open the door and Crystal bustles in. Crystal? I'm here to help you unpack and probably get stuff for myself. Because I didn't have anything, remember? Um, thanks. I could use your help, I guess. I don't have to be mega, mega bitch in this game. You really do have a lot of boxes. Come on, it's not that bad. I'll have a garage, though. You'll love it. It's a good thing I came over, right, Loki? Traitor. Now let's get started. Okay, farmhouse. Ooh, you're an art aficionado. It, actually, I'm the artist. <gasps> really? That's amazing. Oh my gosh, in the bottom corner, that's Loki chasing a butterfly. Was this your house? Yes, I, m I miss it so much. I inherited it from my grandparents. It was the first home I ever had with enough rooms for a dedicated space for my artist studio. Sounds lovely. It was. Loki loved it, too. Their favorite pastime was chasing butterflies in the garden and stretching out in the big bay windows to bask in the sun. <laughs> Even like frolicking in the winter snow. <laughs> what a cutie. Was it just you and Loki in that big old house? Okay, this is officially getting a little weird. <laughs> How much should I share? Do I tell her about Sophia? Sure, I'm here to connect with people after all. Yeah. No, not just me and my cat. My wife Sophia lived there too. It was a bit of an adjustment for her moving from the city to the country. But she was happy to finally have a big garage where she could work on her motorcycle. Plus, riding around those winding country roads is so much fun. One person's idea of fun is and other's terror. You never catch me on a motorcycle, ever. Not even for love? I would do anything for love, but I won't do that. I mean, love lyric, huh? <laughs> you must have spent time in a small town, too. Guilty. I imagine... <laughs> Shut up, Loki. I Damn it, Loki. I imagine that move to the country was a big adjustment for a city couple. Not to mention being the only openly queer couple in town. Ha, <laughs> yeah, well, that too. It wasn't all smooth selling, but we carved out a place for ourselves and made friends. And hosted commuting gatherings at our house. Sometimes with our city and country friends together. Sounds like you and Sophia had a wonderful life in that beautiful old house. We did. We really did. But Sophia passed away five years ago, and since then, it's been just me and Loki. Is that why you moved to ye old? Not to pry, but I'm a widow, too. And I just couldn't bear being in my old house all alone. I should tell, talk to her about the real reason I moved. 
Actually, my doctor strongly suggested, air quotes, I move after I took a fall. Are you okay? I am now. Once we got rid of the calcium deposits in my ear, the vertigo went away. And my back was healed. <laughs> I think that was some bullshit. But it was scary. If the UPS guy hadn't come that day, I might have wasted away on my kitchen floor. Saved by the delivery man. Was he cute at least? I don't know. The world was spinning. <laughs> so, what's your story? Tell you what, I'm going to cut it off right there. But I wanted to kind of get this out to you guys kind of quickly because this has like a four-day window of being a free demo. Then they're not going to have a demo, but they're doing a thing over on um, Steam. If this isn't your cup of tea, there are other free demos over there only for a limited time only. So I figured I'd get this out to you guys. If you like what you see, like, comment, subscribe, and we will see you later. Bye-bye.